Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I feel so much better, thank you. Yeah, no, yeah, I've, I've got your number, so... Cheers. All right, cheers, bye-bye. Bye. Who's that, your counsellor? Ben told me. Uh, support officer, yeah. I think I could speak to her every day for a year and it still wouldn't get that scene out of my head. You're the one who wanted to be a copper. It's just messed me up a bit, you know? I don't know what I'm doing. Can't control my behaviour. They were good people. Decent. Never skips a day of church. <laughs> just trying to live a life. They adopted that boy, you know? Gave him opportunities. Little Raymond. Three years old. All alone. It just don't feel right. That was his name, was it? Raymond? Yeah. I'm going to give the hospital a ring, see how he's getting on. I have spent three years trying to take the decision that I made and just lock it away. And it's been a hard three years. Because you don't just make a decision like that and then it's done. It's like you have to keep on making it every single day. And then I'm thrown into this situation where I'm given a chance to maybe make it differently. I was there when his grandmother told him that he didn't have any parents anymore. But he, he does have parents, he does. He has a mother. And when I saw him, Jack, I fell in love with him. He is my son, Jack, and I love him. I can't see him anymore. Why? Why? Phil. He's a few doors away. If he finds out, and I don't care what it costs me, I don't care if I never get to see him again for, for the rest of my life, but Phil Mitchell will never get anywhere near my boy. 